Hi, it's Lori, armchair chef. I just got home from work and some shopping. It was pretty snowy today here. And before um, it stopped around noon and started up again when I left and then it stopped. So I'm not sure what it's going to be when I got up to go to work this morning. 18 degrees. Yeah, that's going on my temperature snake. I haven't got anything under zero. So I don't have a color for under zero because we probably won't have one unless we add the chill factor or something, wind chill factor. But, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. I went to Walmart. <laughs> I have to tell you, it's really funny. I was walking around the store and over by the shoe department, there was a guy trying on some shoes. I thought maybe it was a homeless guy, but he was. And he was like this young kid, apparently. And, oh, let me get up. He was on the floor trying on shoes and get up. Get, let me get out of your way. This is this is my space. I go, oh, no, it's OK. Just do whatever you're doing. Oh, wow. I like your hair. I'm like, what happened to my hair? <laughs> I'm like, what happened to it? I guess it just looked really red in the store. I thought maybe it was sticking up or something. But no, I guess it's just really red. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> not pink or purple just red people don't usually react that way i thought what happened to my hair <laughs> so anyway i would really like to get the um i love lucy color i thought that would be cool i don't know if i can get that she had that custom done so let me just show you a few of the things i got um i found these at walmart kettle style corn tortilla chips Kettle style, does that mean they're sweet? It says sea salt. So I bought some bean dip and I bought some guacamole dip to try with it. So I'm gonna, I'll probably taste that later. Got me my favorite green bananas. And now I'm only buying four at a time because I've found out that if I buy more than four, they get bad. So I'm just like buying four at a time when I go and um. I like them green, and I heard that when they're green, they have more nutrition, less sugar. So then as the, if I don't eat them right away and they ripen, I put them on my cereal. I have been watching videos, and I'm, there's some stuff I'm going to make. And I bought some pizza sauce. I saw somebody make pizzas out of bread in the oven. So what I did was I have pita. So I'm gonna take my pitas or my tortillas, I'm not sure which, and make me some pizzas. And we're gonna see how it turns out. Cause that would be kind of fun, I could do that. We have a toaster oven at work, I could even make them at work. Everything's cooked already. You're just gonna melt the cheese and heat it up. So that could be kind of cool. So, I bought some little shampoos and stuff for my trip so I can just leave the big bottles here. And if I take these, I can just leave them. I don't have to bring them home with me. And I found something new that I haven't seen and nobody else has seen it either. Rice Krispie Treat Heaps. Yeah, I'm gonna taste them right now because I have seen nobody do these. So, I get to be the first. Usually I see other people do them and then I go find them. Like the hot, um, the hot Dr. Pepper. I have not found it. I go look for it every time I go out. Rice Krispie Treat Marshmallows. Aren't Rice Krispie Treats made out of marshmallows? So what's the flavor that's going to be added? Whoops, almost dropped it. Rice Krispies? Let's see. Got yellow peeps? Well, they're actually creamy color. Oh, they're not. I have to leave them out. I like stale peeps, you know, the chewy. Tastes like a marshmallow Rice Krispie treat, but don't all marshmallows taste like a Rice Krispie treat? 
Just saying. That's what it is, marshmallows. Ow. Bit my tongue. Marshmallow's too soft. Okay. That bag's done. Got a few snacks. I like these. They're Mexican um, in the Mexican section, Hispanic section, depending on where you how how PC you are. But I like them. They're really hard. Now, when I used to go to my grocery store at home um, in California, I think it was Food for Less. They had a bakery section, Mexican stuff, and. They had pastries and things. And one of the things was thick bread with butter and sugar on it. That's sort of what this is. It's hard bread, crusty, with frosting in between it. And it's something that I like to have a snack with, like before I go to bed. I'll go through a thing. They had these at the dollar. They had these at um, that dollar store tree store I went to that has the big section, the one that has a huge bread aisle, they had these for $1.25. So they're like less than half that at the dollar store. But and they weren't they weren't stale or anything. But you get a package like this for six with six of them. Um and you can get singles. I think just two of them or a single at at, at like a gas station or something. And they're kind of nice, but they 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 crumble, so they sometimes they fall apart. You got to watch it a little bit. But these are really good if you ever you know have have a opportunity to get some. Those are good. Um, I found this at Walmart, and I have not tried it before. Two times the caffeine double shot. Five grams of sugar. World's smallest cafe ultra premium latte and frappe mix caramel macchiato. 20 of them. I'm gonna try this. This is something that I might be able to use on the go. I don't know if I can mix it with water, cold or hot water. It's a powder, like an instant powder. Ultra premium, let's see, made with Arabica coffee. Let me see what the instructions say. Hot drink, four contents of one packet into one cup of hot water. Okay, so it's like hot cocoa. Cold, pour the contents of one packet into a, four ounces of hot water. Stir until dissolved and add ice. Okay, blended drink. Pour the contents of two packets to half a cup of water, milk, or coffee. Add half a cup of ice and blend. Okay, so because it dilutes it, the ice dilutes it, you want a little bit more. So it's sort of like I can, you know, like a hot, you could either use it with cold water or hot water. So that's not bad. But you do not got to dissolve it, though. So, um, yeah, not bad. I got ice water in the car because it's in there all the time. And I bought a bunch of Pepsi at the Big Lots or the Dollar Tree. Tons of them, the liter bottles, because they're two eighty nine at the gas station. So I got them for like a buck twenty five at the at the um, Dollar Tree, and um, they're in the car right now. They, I don't know. I got to put them in something where they're standing upright in case they freeze because it's really cold out there. But anyway, there's how much did I say? 20 of them. This was $13. So this is a good deal. So it's like 13 cups of coffee. I mean, 20 cups of coffee for 13 bucks. So, or whatever. Twice the caffeine, though. Five grams of sugar. And three of them are added per serving, per packet, 70 calories. So that's not, that's not really too bad. I mean, I 
I have K cups that are like little cappuccinos and things or hot cocoa. And I'll do that. Or I could just take a, open it up if I don't have a K cup machine and pour it in a cup of hot water. That works too. So if you ever get K cups from somebody, you don't have to have a K cup machine. You can put it in a regular coffee machine as ground unless it's a, a mix and then the mix is like uh instant okay what else did i get oh i used to eat these all the time so i got some of this for my trip the um nut and honey trail mix it's like honey roasted it has toffee peanuts and stuff because everything else i have is very sweet so i thought i'd get some kind of savory and when i get really tired what i have to do is i i do sunflower seeds and that helps keep me awake for some reason, when I'm driving, the, the it, and it doesn't make me sick. It doesn't fill me up. Like, this would make me sick eventually if I ate too much of it. So, um, yeah, I got that. And what's in here? Oh, I thought I'd try this. Beef taco filling, because I have some um, little taco shells. I thought, oh, this might be nice. I could take something like this to work and make tacos and have little packets of taco sauce. Just warm it up and it's ready to go. I could just heat it up in some hot water even. Because I don't think you can microwave this. I don't know. But, um, oh, it says, oh, it says I could microwave it. Oh, no, 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 no. Remove package from pouch. But I would think you could probably open it and then heat it up in hot water that too so and it's already cooked so this is something you could you know you could buy a bunch of this too and just keep this on hand or keep it in your car and keep you get stuck somewhere or you run into some people out on the streets that need some food this would be something that you know you could give to them okay and then i've picked up a couple things of clothes now, remember I showed you that that, that top that I bought that has the see-through sleeves? And, uh, well, that'll be really nice for California because it's only going to be like 60 degrees there. What I thought I could do is I could wear that here with hot pink underneath it. And the hot pink would show through the sleeves. I thought, that oh, that might be kind of cool. This was on clearance for $3. And um, it's not real heavyweight. It's kind of lightweight, but I could wear this under that top. And the um, sleeves would show through. So got that one. That was the second one I saw. The first one I saw, I bought both of them. It wasn't on sale, but... It was, it was lightweight and it was like really big. So I got, it's more of a nylon-y type of feel, stretchy instead of a cotton. So I got this one a size smaller because it was really, really big. I didn't want it that big. So it's kind of the same thing. It looks like it's almost a three quarter length sleeve, um, but this one was 13. But yeah, basically the same premise where you just wear this underneath that or anything else as a double layer and it's not too hot it's not too heavy and i went ahead i have these pants that i like i really like these i wear them to work the jeans and i like them they're like leggings the jeggings but they have the belt loops because the other ones eventually they ride down you got to keep pulling them up but these they just you know they have the the fake button the fake pockets on the front but they have a little pocket in the back so and the belt loops now they have the other ones that don't have the belt loops i have one of those but i don't wear them very often because i have to keep pulling them up so what i do is i'll, I'll wear these to work and i decided to get a black pair because um i don't know if those other ones fit and i know these are going to fit they're very stretchy and i don't have to worry about them being too bad now walmart has their valentine stuff in and they actually have a section of Easter stuff too. 
which is where I got the peeps, the Rice Krispie peeps. So they have their stuffed animals for $3, $2.97. So I picked up a couple. I got a unicorn with a fluffy tail. Isn't that cute? That screams lovey. It's just right. Got a big old fluffy tail. And if you have embellishments on it, you can take them off if you don't want them on there. Or there's things on them that look like Valentine's Day that might be able to come off so they can be used anytime. But I thought, oh, that's cute. Add that to my collection for my my to-do list for my lovies. Very cute. I have a Halloween and I have Christmas. And this one's really nondescript. I can take the bow off of it. But it's really cute. Got a big old fluffy tail. If I had dogs, well, actually, I did have a dog that used to play with toys, and I would just go get the cheap Walmart toys. Three bucks. Look at this. Way better than Dollar Tree for $1.25. Those little ones, these are really nice. So, got that one. Now, fortunately, she won't chew on anything except Yoda Bunny. So, I don't have to worry about her. It's a dragon, and it flies. It's got wings and a big old tail. Look at that. You guys got to go go to your um, Walmart. Three bucks. You could make the little lovey for this sell for 15 or 20 and it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. Um. Oh, gosh, is it, um, it's Elaine, who's really, really, I watch her, and she's like, oh, my God, everything she does goes up in her Etsy shop. I'm like, Elaine, go to Walmart, get some of these. They're only $3. $2.97. If you go to Fetch, if you scan all your receipts, you end up with some money. You can go use that money from stuff you're going to buy anyway to buy other stuff. You get 10 of these for, like, $30. Sell them for what fifteen on Etsy? They could be the same one, but they, this is the size I like. They have others there. They have dogs, husky dogs, but the colors are so bright that I have a lot of neon colors. That um, and something like this, you just take off the little bow, and it's not Valentine's anymore. Sometimes Christmas stuff, you take off the little hat not Christmas anymore so it can be sold anytime but yeah this one's called Big Tail Drag <laughs> yeah. you know it's not it's not a, a $20 quality I mean it's $3 but it's it's cute I don't know about the eyes the eyes look like they're they're safety eyes I can feel the little thingy in the back so yeah they're safety eyes so, okay, there we go. That's that. That was that was pretty much it for this. I had some other things that I bought for the fridge. Um, the bean dip and a couple dips to go with the chips. And I got cheese for those pizzas. I already had the tortillas or the pitas, whichever one I decide. Actually, I might try two or three different kinds. Because she did it on bread, just regular bread. So I might try it on different things to see how it turns out. Um, the bread, the pita, the tortilla, the flour tortilla. And then I got the good sauce. I didn't get the cheap Walmart sauce because it wasn't that much more. They have a new, um, they have some new Rayo's sauces. $8 at Walmart. Wow. I got them at Costco when they were on sale. They had that special deal. So I had got them at Costco. But yeah, I picked up a few things. Um, I want to work on my temperature snake tonight. Get that all caught up. Because I think I'm trying to get it caught, keep it caught up to five at a time. Because I'm doing it highs and lows. So if I do five days, that's ten rows. It's not very big. So I can just do ten I mean, it's bigger than Michelle's. Michelle's is like this big. Mine's like this big. <laughs> but, um, okay. All right, guys. That 
is just a little mini shopping haul. I still have my special 100 thing to show you. And that should be coming tomorrow. Tomorrow's my day off. So supposedly my thing is getting delivered tomorrow. So I will be able to do my video. I was thinking about doing it live. Thinking about doing it live. But I have to see. The lives are done. I do the lives differently. I do it with StreamYard. This I do with Zoom. And um, it gets rid of all my background noise, which is really nice. If you guys have an opportunity, try the Zoom. See if you like it. Because it automatically saves it when you shut everything down. Automatically saves it into a Zoom folder. And it separates the audio. So you can have the audio totally separate from your video. It's in three sections. Video, audio, and video and audio all combined. So that's very cool. If you want to just take parts of it out or do something with it. I don't know. Everybody does such um, creative things. So, but it will do that. Like you could take parts of the video out, of the audio out, if there's noise. And just do a voiceover or just put words up on the screen. Um, but yeah, I, I do that and I have it get rid of the background noise. And it's not too bad. And it just uses the camera on my computer. Not Well, I don't use that when I have an external one because the one on my computer sucks really bad. So I had bought another one. It's more of a wide angle and it has better HD. And it makes me look better too. Um, so, but when I do my lives, I use the stream part. And it will record... But it only, let's see, now the Zoom will record, but it'll only do an hour unless I pay to upgrade it. Because me and Lori did a um, live on the Zoom where she was showing me some stuff. And um, it shut it off after an hour. So I only have an hour for free. And then it shuts it off. Um, and I think StreamYard is similar you only get so many whoops sorry you only get so many times to use it or hours and then you have to pay for it if you want more so but i have the issue with my camp my battery and my computer is still not working so i can't do lives on youtube because it doesn't know it's plugged in it says my battery's dead it won't let me Go figure. So, um, I'm gonna put this up, and I will hopefully have some big news and big surprise to show you tomorrow. I'm hoping. I stopped at McDonald's, got buy one get one for a dollar, McDouble cheeseburger and a fry. So that's gonna be my dinner tonight. And uh, oh yeah, I got Starbucks somewhere. Where'd I put it? Must still be in the kitchen. I had, um, I stopped on the way home and I got a big one. I drank that already. Now I've got a, because it was, you could get a um, a grande for $3 to, on today. $3 off or $3 or something. It was $3 off a, a grande. So I got, got one, a gingerbread, and then I got a large um, peppermint mocha. So got that and oh and a blueberry smell i gotta stop oh my god now that i'm not getting as much exercise yeah i'm watching the scale very close and it's like going up a little bit so i gotta really switch over to protein i uh i switch over to protein it comes back down <laughs> but it's so hard protein doesn't taste as good as stone french fries and burgers <laughs> and my you know and, and and yeah i just yeah i know you can get food that real food that tastes good too good stuff that's good for you can taste good too it's all up here so, okay i'm gonna put this up right now i will see you again tomorrow um i haven't decided yet if it's going to be live or 
if, is it live or is it Memorex? You remember that? So, okay. I will see you tomorrow. Okay.